Right, and New Jersey is taking another significant step towards getting back to normal by dropping many of the COVID restrictions we've been dealing with for the last several months. We've been waiting for this. The major announcement couldn't come soon enough as we close in on Memorial Day. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live in Williamstown with the details. Good morning, Matthew. Hey, good morning to you. The governor's announcement yesterday means most COVID restrictions for places like Cider Bar behind me have been lifted, and capacity limits are now back at 100% starting May 19th. But take a look down the shore along the boardwalk in Wildwood. Many businesses tell us that the easing of restrictions comes at a time when employees are in short supply. Maurice Piers is set to reopen this Saturday, but it still has hundreds of open positions, despite that the minimum wage for seasonal employees here is $15 an hour. And nearby at Forconi's Pizza, it's also having challenges hiring people. We're happy it's full dining room. We're not happy that we're everybody shorthanded across the board. We need to have another like maybe 25 employees. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's hard. I think people expect this year to be a normal year, but it won't be. So as long as the customers are patient and they have courtesy towards us doing the best we can, it'll be a good year. Meantime, officials tell us that if you are headed down the Jersey Shore, social distancing and mask wearing is still ineffective. Reporting live by Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Matt. The CDC says that more than 40.